Thank you, Mr. President. Nearly one in five American couples have trouble conceiving, and many of them turn to IVF for help. In the year 2021, more than 85,000 babies were created using this miraculous procedure. Truly a miracle, and yet they'll also tell you, these parents, that undergoing treatment is hard and long and painful and challenging and expensive and emotionally and physically draining. It's often a last resort. After a long journey of failed attempts, they talk to their doctor, and their doctor says, would you like to try this? And even that is going to be super expensive and maybe not work. One in five families experience this trouble, and there's this miraculous treatment that can help you to start a family. And so let's be really clear about what the so-called pro-life movement is about here. It is not about life at all. In this instance, it is specifically about assigning the rights of a fully formed human being to a fertilized embryo in a Petri dish so that they can control females, so that they can control females. That is exactly what this is about. And look, there is a fair amount of spin going around Washington, more than usual, because Republicans understand how angry families are, how angry people who are not yet able to conceive are. And so they are trying to get people to believe something other than their own eyes and their own experience. But here's the beauty of this place. We talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, and then we vote. And there is one opportunity and one opportunity only to enshrine the right to IVF in federal statutory law. I don't care what you tweeted. I don't care what you said on cable news. I don't ser se care what the memo from your, the, the campaign arm of the Republican National Committee says. In a few minutes, we will know the official position of the Republican conference on IVF. And the Susan B. Anthony list and the MAGA court and these extreme forces in our society are going to show that the Republican Party is not for IVF. I wish it were different. I wish we could pass this law. But the beauty of the Senate floor is everybody will be on the record by the end of the afternoon. I yield the floor.